Hey YouTube, it's Anthony back at you with here in my office. It's been a couple months since I made a video and I wanted to just give you a little update of what's going on. <clears throat> um, lots been going on actually uh, compared to prior videos. Um, I just came back from New York City with my best friend. If you're watching, what's up? Um, we had a great time. And... Um, and now I'm back, and uh, I'm I'm deep into the Zillow Connections world, and um, I've learned how to show a house. Uh, I've showed a I sh showed a house on Tuesday of this week, and I've answered a few calls. Um, and they're, they're usually you know they're hot leads. These are people that are looking to see a particular property that they saw on Zillow. So um, you know. I now have the tools necessary to get them the contracts I need to get them and um, get them to sign off on contracts, get uh, proof of funds, proof of uh, pre-approval letters from the from the folks before I show them any properties. So that's kind of the rule. Um, it's kind of a crazy one, though. My first one was on Tuesday and it was where all the all the offers were in by were due in by four o'clock p.m. And he called me the night before. He called me like Monday night, and everything was due. He would he, we would have had to meet, get a get a contract sign up between the two of us. I would have had to see his pre approval letter, his proof of funds, and um, and then we would have had to write up an offer, which takes the process takes a couple hours, and I haven't been through it yet. But um, my mentor is going to help me out through that. So um, people have been asking me how's the mentor program going. Um, at United Real Estate, it's going really well actually. Uh, you basically for your first three transactions that close, you get to have a uh, dedicated person um, assigned to you, who's a seasoned real estate veteran, who can take you through all the systems and show you all the processes and the things that you need to do in order to um, in order to uh, close the deal. So, uh, and again, I've been working with buyers. Um, I'm still not sure how I'm going to get listings and work with sellers, you know, because that's kind of where it's at, I think. So, um, and the first house, you know, this isn't glamorous or anything. This isn't million dollar listing. This is, I told my wife jokingly, this is $100,000 listing Philadelphia. The house is $100,000. Granted, it's going to get, it's going to get bidded up to probably 150, 200, but, uh, guy didn't think he had enough money for it and he just dropped out so I didn't end up having to do that crazy thing with a one day's notice to put in an offer he didn't think he had enough money so uh, we passed on that one um, but uh, I got my car um, I gotta get rims for it but right now I got the uh, I got the spare tire on it right now so it's not leaking because we had a my mom cracked up my rims really bad, or her rims that she gave to me, <laughs> and uh, car needs new wheels, so it's not really something that's in the budget, but gonna have to just do it to get it over with. Um, the car is a little Lexus IS two fifty. It's a nice car, and um, as I said, it was given to me, and now um, I'm using it, to, uh, using it to get around. But my wife's my wife's business, uh, the pet sitting business, has been booming. Um, she's been doing really well. Granted, it's not the kind of well that I was making at Wells Fargo, but it's still good good income that's usable and uh, fortunate to have that to hold me over while I'm working on um, establishing myself in real estate, establishing my business. Um, What's next is just keep cracking with Zillow Connections and keep practicing with the forms and getting everything out to the customers and um, show a few more homes. Hopefully, by, before the year's out, show some more homes. Uh, you know, I, again, I'm paying $500 a month for Zillow. We're going to have to get some deals out of it for me to want to do it again. So uh, basically, you know, basically you do one deal my minimum on a deal is 3500 so I'll pay off Zillow easily just getting one deal. But we want to do better than break even, right? We want to rock it out. <laughs> so uh, 
so yeah, that's what's going on, guys. Um, I'll keep you abreast of what's going on in the real estate world. And when I get my first closing, when I get my first big transaction, uh, if I ever do get a million dollar house, there's plenty of them around here. So, you know, it's, it's a possibility down the line. Um, so, uh, my, my lawsuit that, uh, I just reached out to my attorney just to see what was going on. Unfortunately, I've been sued by one of my creditors. Um, when I lost my job, uh, went into debt and, uh, took, took three years for them to sue me on bad credit card debt, but my attorney just said, give it to me because it's all part of the case. And, uh, hopefully that's just taken care of for me, I guess. Um, but, uh, they're working on getting the, getting the, um, finding the witness for the next side's, uh, deposition. So that's kind of what's going on. So, like I said, I don't think we're going to be settling on the case anytime soon. Still don't think so. And here we are at the end of 2021. I'm expecting we would settle in 2022. So... I mean, we need to, you know, need, need to, uh, need to get that taken care of. So, um, so yeah, that's really what's going on as a first, first month as a real estate agent. Just, uh, if I didn't have Zillow, I don't know what I'd be doing. I, I think things would be really quiet. I'd be trying some probably less effective marketing methods like flyers and calling, cold calling and. But uh, getting set up with Zillow has really funneled funneled business in to me, so I have something to do. Um, it's it's slow though. It's some days I'll get four or five calls. Some days I'll get two calls. <laughs> some days I'll get no calls. But uh, you know they guarantee a certain amount of leads per month, and um, and the thing is, is right now I'm limited to some less desirable zip codes in Philadelphia, not where I live. I don't live around the places that I'm looking at houses, um, for other people. It's more in the inner city, uh, less expensive homes. So, you know, hoping that Zillow opens up a little more and has more room in some of the better zip codes in Philly. And then I could be going to some better homes, but, uh, they told me that's something I, I could look forward to down the line. So, I guess you can't just jump into it and grab the best houses. It's already taken by other people. <laughs> so, um, so yeah. So that's the end of it. I don't, I don't know uh, anything big coming up. Um, we, we are planning on uh, visiting my friend in California probably uh, in the next couple months. So that, that's going to be fun. And uh, we got the holidays coming up and we got Thanksgiving coming up. So uh, busy times. Um, but, uh, I'll be rocking out the real estate and I'll let you guys know how it's going. So, uh, thanks for watching guys and, uh, tune in next time. I'll try to make a more, more, uh, more frequent uploads. I used to make an upload every week, a couple times a week. And lately it's just been once a month or less than once a month. So I'll try to make a video, uh, coming up. And, uh, last thing I wanted to thank is if you're still watching is thank you for 400 subscribers, 400 subscribers. That's wonderful. Um, I think it's 398, but I gain subscribers, tiny bit of subscribers every so often. So, uh, should be 400 very soon. So thanks for 400 subscribers guys. And thanks for watching. See ya.